I'm about to call me a Uber. You can't call a Uber. The band I don't know if they running or not. No, you can't. They I'm trying to try something new, teach you guys different builds. Um, I'm going to be doing one for each of the powers. Uh, today's video is going to be on Rage, both DPS, Range DPS, Melee DPS, and then I'm also going to show you guys how to tank with it as well. Because I've heard people in the past say that Rage is not really that good at tanking, it should stick to DPS. But I'm going to base these videos off of people that have between 60 and 100 skill points. So, we're going to go first with all three builds as 60, and then again with all three builds in the second video with 100 SP. So, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to teach you how to use only 60 SP, if that's what you have. Alright, now, first off, you need to put your points in. So, as you can tell, I've fully respect all skill points. Uh, so the first thing is you put one in your weapon, whatever your weapon is. Uh, mine is dual wield, which is my starter weapon anyhow, so I don't have to put a point in there. Uh, secondary, you would put one in your movement, whatever it was, PZ, uh, flight, or uh, glide. Uh, then you don't need to worry about any of this stuff down in here. Uh, next will be iconics. Me, preference and silly, I always use Pheromone Bloom, especially if I'm going to run a, a duo or a solo from running into something that I need that as a super, I always make sure I have it. Uh, then you would go into your powers here. Now this is where everything comes together. You always want to go super power for great for the DPS side. You're going to put, well, we can't put 20 in there for the fact we only have 60. So if you think about it, we have one there, one there, and one in there. Nine times out of ten, you guys probably wouldn't even run this one. So, think about it. One, two, and three. So we have 57 to work with. So, we would take ten into here. Ten into here. I wish you could just type it out, but ten into there. And then you would put the rest in the year. So you think about it. That's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So you have 24 points right there alone. So 24, and it takes 25 to be half of 50. So that means you have 26 points left to put into here. So. Let's put those 26 points in. And now what you do is you go to loadouts, and as you can see that's in there, but now this is going to be your melee setup. Now, for melee, you're going to use Outrage. You're gonna go left, you're pretty much gonna go square, square, triangle is your main attacks. These three here, two are gonna be buffs, one's gonna be your super. So, you go left to right, you go with Relentless Anger and Severe Punishment. Now, if you're in a situation you need the heal, you would put Pheromone Bloom. But in this case, we're just gonna go straight out damage, so you'll put Berserk in. Next, you'll go with Eviscerating Chain. And then you can go with two options here. Either one would work. You can go with Dreadful Blast, which is the AM build back in the day. Or you can go with Lacerate and put the Lacerate in the last slot and be able to actually put that mod in that allows you to heal through Lacerate. Now, we only got 60 skill points used. Remember that 60 skill points. You can still do a lot of damage with 60 skill points. So your first step is triangle circle clip. So you hit on you hit your L2 and you hit triangle circle same time. L2 square, square twice. So you would tap on square twice, so one, 
to, and then hold. So, let's say you're going into a fight. You're going to go bam, 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 bam. Pull it in, and go into that. Now, I'm going to slow it down step by step, but let's see what damage that did without any real trouble. 36 hits, 100,000. But granted, again, I'm 243. But, you know, with this setup, you can do a lot of damage. Let's go again. This time, I'm going to do... You're going to go square, tap, square, hold, square on the fourth, on the third hold. On the third uh, square, you're going to hold. So it's tap, hold. And then you're going to go right into the base of the chain and hold square a second time. So let's do that again. You go one two, three, and hold. Now, after you do the eviscerating chain part, you would go chain, and then hold, you go right in the last rate. Okay, now, if you look down there, you're doing 32,000 for 7 hits, and 25,000 for 5 hits. 9 hits at 33,000. So you're staying upwards of about 25 to 30,000 within those hit radius. Um, with 60 skill points, one hit from those, you're doing roughly around, okay, saying two hits, technically it's only one hit, but you're doing 7,000 for one hit crit. So an overall loadout, you would clip triangle, circle, Square, tap square, hold square, base rating chain, hold square, then in the last rate. Rinse and repeat. Nineteen hits, fifty eight thousand. Alright, now next thing on the list would be to show you guys how to do a range DPS. But first let me show you what I mean by the old AM build. You can still run the old AM build if you prefer. It's the same routine. Triangle circle, square, tap square, hold square, into this rain chain, into dreadful blast, and you can just rinse and repeat. Now, with dreadful blast on the other hand, it's you know the initialize and then three holds on it. So you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It'll take you ten seconds to get through the loadout. Which is doable. So you can actually do it that way as well. But let's go over here to do what we planned on doing, which Dreadful Blast is gonna stay where it's at anyhow. This is gonna be a range setup. You're gonna drop that. You're going to drop this, and you're going to drop that. Now, with this setup, you're going to be putting this over here at the beginning, which is called Rage Blast. You're going to put Channel of Hate right there. You're going to put that right there, which is Frantic Bombardment. And that's how simple it is to go from right up in their face to range. Now with this build, it's simple. You hit circle right off the bat, so L2 circle. Tap square, so you hit L2 square. Then you hit L2 triangle, tap triangle four times. Tap square once when you initialize it. And then hit triangle, R2 triangle. And then hit triangle four times. It means hold on triangle four times. Do not tap on triangle four times. So remember, first triangle is tap triangle four times. Uh, R2 triangle, which is the second triangle, you're going to tap it, or you're going to hold it three times. So you go one, two, and then you would go a channel of hate, and then you're going finish it, to finish it. You're going like that, and you just start it again. And as you can see, the rotation still does a good bit of damage. 
and it's a pretty simple rotation. 30 hits, 96,000. So 10 more hits than the melee, but it does almost 25,000 more. So that's how you can run that as a melee or a range rage DPS with 60 skill points. Next on the list will be tanking. I'm going to teach you how to tank and how to set up your build. Now I'm going to respec so I cannot have max skill points. I only have what skill points I have which is 60. So if you remember correctly I only have 60 skill points. So of course in Iconics I'm going to grab that. That's it. Alright now my advice with tanking is have a melee weapon. Martial arts. Uh, some people use bow. I'm not a a fan of bow. But martial arts is definitely one. One handed. Two handed. Shield. Would be really good for tanking. Brawling is a little on the slow side. But you could use it for, for tanking. Now my advice is. You're going to go and get your mastery for power regen but because this factor of we only have 60 skill points we're already using up a good bit of those points as you can tell the starter point is already there but you got one two three four five six seven eight eight out of 60 already and then if you count these two that's nine ten eleven twelve twelve in the tree so you have to think 12 out of that 50 already taken up because you're going to go up and you're going to grab both masteries this is my preference you don't have to but my preference is I rather have the ability to be able to hold my own and regen power more power you have as a tank more survivability and then you would go back to martial arts and you would grab all four of these so, let's do the math up of this. There's 12 per tree. Right? Let's count that again. Your starting point one, but then you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 in that tree. Then you go up and you got hand blasters, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine nine so you have 20 right there no 21 right there 21 already taken up then you go dual pistols and you got one two three four five six seven wait 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 let's do it again one and four so that's five six seven eight so you got 8 there. So you got 29 points already spent right there. 29 points already spent. Which is fine. And then of course you get your movement. And your iconic which will be the bloom. Now what I do is you already got 30 points spent. Now you put one in there. That's 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. It's 35 points. Now you would go here, 36, and then you would want to go, so you have these three here, but if you want to go with a battle tank, you would go there. But we're actually building an actual tank. So you got 36, 46, 56. So you got 56 points already put in. Now, if you have 56 points in and you only have 60, that leaves you 4 points to throw into here, which is fine. It'll still give you enough survivability in an overall fight. Now, with the loadout we're using, how I run it, you got Rage Bringer. That is your distance pull. If an ag gets too far away, you can pull them in. Uh, you've got your shield. 
you got your first heal, which is also a group breakout, heals yourself immediately. Uh, you got your second heal, which also helps with Rage Crash. It does make sure that Rage Crash does not happen. Uh, you also got your multi pool, which is a close range pool, especially when it comes down to multiple ads. Uh, and it also heals you over time. Uh, and then you got your supercharge, which is Pheromone Bloom, which to me seems better for 2500 versus the heal you get there, which is a thousand. Uh, it's to me it doesn't seem as good because if you think about the numbers up there, it's a thousand, then a thousand per cost of your supercharged bar versus this one, which is 2500, and you immediately start getting your heals from it, and you can use it again. So, and then overall, if you have a 10,000 bar, you're going to ride, it's going to click 10 times, and then you'll be out of supercharge. This up here, you can get that 2,500 back up immediately and keep it rotating. So, that's the reason why I use it. Now, with tanking, it's pretty simple with 60 skill points. You're able to pull. That's your distance pull, which means as long as you have that red cursor, you can pull. Now, your other pull is right here. That's a close range pull. As 360 will be pulled in. Also, you have your shields. Now, here's a trick that I learned with tanking. Most tanks won't do this because they, they're too afraid to not have their power. I usually clip all three, triangle, circle, and X at the same time. Like so. Granted, half a bar. But watch how quick those numbers go back up. Back to full bar. Before it even resets everything. So, in the long run, you can still regen your power. And that is the lesson for people with 60 skill points, depending on how long this takes. Now, we're going to do a video on... Or we're going to do the rest of the video, or maybe a second video with the other one. I'm going to try right now to see if I can do that. So give me a second, and we'll see where we go with that. Yeah, I'm about to call me a Uber. You can't call a Uber. They banned the Uber. I don't know if